Do you go to the market for shopping? If you look closely to the packages of some products like this, you will find 100% pure or just the word pure written on the boxes. Now, can you tell us what is the meaning of pure? For ordinary people like you and me, if there is no adulteration or changes in anything, then according to us, the thing is pure. However, the question is, does the same thing mean pure things in the scientific definition? When scientists says that something is pure, it means that all the constituent particles of that substance are the same in their chemical nature. A pure substance consists of a single type of particle. This time, let's talk about impure substances. The substances that are formed by mixing two or more pure substances are called impure substances. They are also called a mixture. Let us now learn more about pure and impure substances by some examples. Let's take a look at sodium chloride or commonly known as salt. Is salt a pure substance? The first thing that we need to know is we will check whether salt is made up of the same type of particles. Here, you can see the particles of sodium chloride present in the salt. Are these particles identical? Yes, the composition of salt is composed of molecules similar to sodium chloride. Therefore, we can say that salt is a pure substance. This time, let's take a closer look on sodium chloride molecules of salt. 
can we separate soul into elements of sodium and chlorine by some physical process? The answer is no. Therefore, we can conclude that we cannot separate pure substances into other types of elements by any physical process. Can you think of examples of more pure substances? We have sugar, water, gold, and diamond. These are examples of some more pure substances. Are the characteristics of 1 kilogram of sugar and 10 kilogram of sugar the same? Absolutely yes! The characteristic properties of pure substances remain the same. Now, let's take a closer look at sugar and water solution. Is it a pure substance? Well, let's get the answer to this question by some activity. In a beaker, mix the sugar and water to produce sugar solution. Then, apply heat with the help of a burner. What can you observe? Sugar that was dissolved in water was separated from it due to evaporation but can we separate sugar and water into their components by some physical process the answer is no therefore we can conclude that sugar and water solution is an impure substance or a mixture the particles of sugar and water are different can you think of more examples of impure substances? It includes potassium permanganate in water solution, tea, soil, and many more. These are examples of mixtures.